Mob Smartpool here, and welcome to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So, let's watch this one, shall we? In three, two, one. Captain America memorabilia. The legacy of that shield is complicated. It's been through the years, yeah, since she was given the shield. The pass on to Tony. Upside down. Oh. People need something to get behind. Oh. They need the symbol. Fake captain? <laughs> Real captain. But So what's our plan? So, no plan. Nope. <laughs> oh, well, uh, uh, I guess not. Right. Oh, wow. Ooh. This is the best flying scenes ever. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> in that cyborg brain of yours. You don't want to know. Oh, yeah, I can see it working. Gears turning. Oh, they're malfunctioning. They're on fire. God, I hate you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love this out. Very, very interesting. Um, Incredible, incredible. So they still have that love-hate relationship, I guess. Um. Hmm, I, I do wonder what's going on inside Bucky's brain since ever since he was fixed by uh, Shuri. So, mm. but yeah, it's basically from what I'm getting, it's still con it's it's a continue on after Endgame. So after uh, Captain America, Steve Rogers passes Shield down to Sam Wilson, who will be the new Captain America. But as I stated, I don't know if it was he here or was it. Just in personal with my friends and all that, or just opinions and all that, that the government doesn't want Sam Wilson as, or e or even as Bucky as the new Captain America, because there's still fugitives, because you know Bucky with his uh, record of assassinations and Sam uh, not signing the Sokovia Accords uh, thing, they're both seen as fugitives slash criminals. So no. And since, of course, America needs a symbol, uh, they chose uh, John Watts, I believe that's his name, the other version of Captain America. But it's interesting. Uh, I'm guessing the government took the shield away from Sam and gave it to John. I'm guessing so they're trying to find the shield or something. I don't know. I don't think they would care much about it. Or maybe they would because that's a gift from Steve. But basically, something is going on. And Bucky and the Winter... Bucky and... Uh, Bucky and the Winter Soldier, yeah. <laughs> Bucky and Sam are just trying to fight the evil, I guess. Which is... Are these mass people? I don't know who they're supposed to be. I heard a rumor that these are supposed to be the setup for the Thunderbolts. But that means the government was the one that created them, basically, because that's project with uh, Ross, since he's one of the Thunderbolts. I don't know. I don't know who they are, but yeah. Or maybe they're Zemo guys, because I know Zemo is a villain. I know he somehow escaped um, the prison where he was from Civil War, and I'm guessing this is him. In this scene right here, where I can find it and put post it here, that he's at a funeral per se. I'm guessing this is his family. When he was said his father, his wife, and his kids, 
um, that he he said he found them burying it and all that. I'm guessing this is their memorial in Sokovia, with the weird language there. <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak Russian or whatever. It's supposed to be the court, uh, Sokovia, Czechoslovakia. I don't I don't know, but yeah, and basically trying to take him down plus the masked people. And of course, we see Sam with his new costume, and I feel like the wings are. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna find like his first costume art with uh, when we first got introduced to Falcon to now Falcon. Did the wings seem different? I I feel like this is more more online with comic book uh, origin design, where you know it's going more and more accurate as time goes by. But the only thing I'm mad is that. Bucky's hair is cut. Oh, bring back those long, luscious locks. I miss my long hair too. Uh, but yeah, basically something's going on to try and take them down. The Bucky and Falcon, and at the same time they're trying to take someone else's down, which I'm guessing is Zemo. I'm guessing they're doing their own vigilante and going against the government. I don't know, I don't know, but oh god, this seems beautiful. I wonder where age thirteen is though. I know she's a fugitive per se, because she did help Captain America. So I'm guessing they found that out years later. But yeah, um, but also I want to know the Thunderbolts. So are there really in? Because I heard rumors that Songbird is gonna be in there. So. That's interesting. And even though I am familiar with a lot of Marvel characters, Sungberg, I know what her power is. That's all. I don't know her, her name. I don't know her origin story. I don't know much about her. Uh, I'm a nerd, but I'm not that the crazy intense nerd. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll do my research. Maybe I'll be lazy to do it. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Marvel is very accurate with their... Uh, shows and movies, so it's like 95 80% accurate. So I'll be fine, I'll be fine. <laughs> but no, the Falcon, the Winter Soldier, Cap's legacy is still passing on to see who will be the new mantle. They're fighting against it. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm very excited to see this show. Oh, Bucky, so beautiful. That's why I named him after my dog. <laughs> Oh, Captain, my Captain. Also, now that I think about it, Sokovia, Ultron. Bring him back. The real Ultron now. Not this Ultron. This Ultron was fine. The movie just sucked. Again, with Hulk and... and Black Widow relationship. Where was that about? No. And Ultron being more humanoid or something with emotions. No, Ultron is cool, calculated, and just very, very cold. Doesn't care about humans. There are no strings on me. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways. Are you guys going to be watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier? I sure am. It's sad too. It was supposed to be coming out on August this year. But thanks to someone named Cope that destroyed everything. He should be killed. He should be exterminated. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Please like. Comment, share, subscribe, and this is Mark Poole signing out.